We're not gonna board this one, but we're definitely gonna board one of the trains. Welcome to my YouTube channel. I am already here. You guys already know this video today is about taking the tracks in Utah. Salt Lake City is where I'm at right now. And we're gonna be taking the tracks with you guys to show you guys around the station and what, where the tracks can take you in case you're a visitor or if you're just someone who is in Utah and wants to take the tracks. So we're gonna be boarding from this station that's called 600 South. And as you can see, there are already some trains that have started arriving, but we're gonna take a tour of the station first. We have like a map right here. It says plan your trip. You can see all the times. You can see all the routes of where you're going. I'm going to bring you guys with me so you can have a closer look of that as well. So again, it mentions that we're boarding from the 600 South Track Station. There's a lot of stations, but we're boarding from this one. And then it has weekday and weekend times, train routes. Also, it has the Salt Lake County system map. This one has a lot of routes from buses, the tracks to the front runner, and it literally shows you where you can take different things from. Something important to keep in mind is that the tracks are color coordinated. Then we have a red line, a blue line, and a green line, and then they tell you where they go to. So the green line says it goes to the airport and to West Valley Central. The blue line says it goes to Salt Lake Central and to Draper Town Center. Then the red line says it goes to University Medical and to Daybreak Parkway. Those are the last points that the tracks can take you to let's move on to the map the map is actually color coded by the tracks and where they're going to be taking you as you can see they have the red they have the blue line and they have the green line and these are the routes that the tracks are going to be taking you to so let's look at them and find out where we are headed today so we are right here 600 south and i want us to go to the airport because most people who are not out of state or people who are even going out of state are going to be needing to get to the airport and if you don't have your car or don't feel like driving you know you can just take the green line and that's the line that we're going to be taking as well let's go find out more about the payment how much we need to pay where we need to pay and how long that payment is going to last us so this is the machine that we're going to be using to pay for our tracks ride it says to press here it says touch here to start and i know it's going to move right here so let's go ahead and it's saying are you buying a one-way pass are you buying an all-day pass group pass or front runner i am going to go ahead with the all-day pass because vlogging is going to take me a minute and it's showing me everything that i need to know about the machine where i can put cash if that's what i have coins bills and it even has a place for the cards that will be right here for the cards. That will be right here for the coins. It does say coins and it will be right here for the money. It does say bills and it has a little place. So whatever you are gonna be using to pay, they literally have it all. Don't worry, bring your cash, bring your card, bring your coins and buy yourself a ticket and ride. Only pass. I'm gonna be using my card today, so I'll be using this slot. They even show you how to put it in just in case you know, you're confused or you're not sure. And then it said printing receipt please take ticket and receipt and then they're just gonna be down here this is it guys so we are done we bought our tickets and we're ready to go it does say all day pass and it says the day and the amount of money I'll show you guys right here it says all day pass and then it shows you the the amount of the money and the date that this was bought so we're ready to travel whenever the next track comes and it's a green line we're on to that but before that i want to show you guys another way that you can actually pay for the ride let's go see here um by one of the means that you can use you just have to tap your card mostly students get this from their school and then they have the free fare or you can also just buy a card from utah transit authority and they will work the same so today we're going to be using my sister's card for demonstration you just have to tap it on and that's it there you go right there that's it the reason i picked going to the airport is because what if you want to go out of state and you don't want to use your car because you don't want to pay for parking or just because you don't want to use your car you want to get something that's taking you straight to the airport 
then you can actually use the same route that I'm using. And what if you're coming from out of state and you want something fun, you want a transportation that's kind of new, something a little bit interesting and fun, then you can still use the green line to get to wherever you need to get to. Back to finishing our track station tour. Up next, we have a board that tells you how long of a wait time you have before your tracks gets here. As you can see, it has all three of the lines, the red line, the blue line, and the green line. We're waiting to the green line to the airport, which is 23 minutes. So we have to wait for that time before our tracks gets to us, which is okay because the track station is big and it actually has sitting spaces. So if you arrive early to your track station and you want to wait for your tracks, then you can take a seat here while you're waiting. As all are waiting for our tracks, imagine how nice it would be to live right here. Literally, you are just getting out the door and crossing the road to get to the track station. And then if you're going to the airport, you literally go to the airport and come back and boom, you're back home. <laughs> So as we were waiting for our tracks, I saw one tracks coming and it was the perfect opportunity to tell you guys how you can tell what line you're boarding. As you see right here, it says blue line to Salt Lake Central. And that's literally how all of the tracks say they're labeled. You can look at it and tell which line you're boarding. And if you've looked at the map, then you know exactly where that line is headed to. And then there's a couple more tracks that were coming that I thought were perfect examples as well. Like this one right at the top, you can see it says red line and it has a tiny red line as well. It's usually at the front, at the back and on the sides of the tracks. And I'll show you an example at the back right here. It says red line and then says to daybreak. So that's the last stop that these tracks can take you to. And so all of them actually have those labeling to help people understand which line they are boarding. Our wait time has now dropped down to 17 minutes, which is so good. We only have 17 minutes before our tracks comes. Okay guys, this is not our line because it's not the green line, but which line is it? Is it the blue line or the red line? Comment down below and let me know how you figured out which line it is. Guys, it is 12.23 and our tracks is finally coming. You can see it over there. It's just literally arriving right now. And we need to be ready to board it as well because we've been waiting for it for a good 23 minutes. You can see it right here that it says green line to airport. So guys, the doors actually open automatically. Nothing you have to do to get in. And get in. And Salt Lake International Airport. Let's go find a place that's gonna be super comfortable to see. Next station, courthouse. You can sit Fifth right by the chairs. So there weren't a lot of people in the tracks with us today because it's the weekend, it's a Sunday, and so many people are probably home. But that just means more space for you. You can choose to sit by the window or wherever you want to sit. And then right above some of the windows in the tracks, there's another board that reminds you you have boarded the green line that has the last destination to the airport in case you forgot. And that's usually right above some of the seats in the tracks. Another thing to keep in mind is that the tracks are super spacious. People even bring in their bicycles, as you can see in here, or whatever they're going to be using to get to their last destination. There are also some stickers reminding you to keep your feet off the seat and some maps like we saw at the station reminding you some of the stops that the tracks is going to make. There's also some holders where you can hold yourself if you're standing because sometimes honestly the tracks get packed and your last option is to stand. So these are quite the saviors. Next station, Fair Park. This board shows the announcement being made in the tracks, which is usually the next stop that the tracks is making and at the stop itself. And that's super convenient in case you forget that it's time to get off the tracks and you can hear the announcement and, you know, realize that it's your stop and it's finally time to get off. Transfer to UTA system bus routes and front runner trains to Auckland and Provo by going downstairs at North Temple Bridge, Guadalupe. So oh, that was a little bit of the ride right now. In the tracks, there is a map right here above, like the one that we saw when we were at the station. The seats are super comfy. If you press them, then you can see that they're super comfy, but they also have a plastic sort of type. But it's been really nice so far. I'll be showing you guys some of the views and so much more. <laughs> First 
about. Salt Lake International Airport. Just like that, we have arrived to our destination. Everyone has to get off from this stop, which means the train was empty and we could take a quick tour. The area by the door being for people with a disability is very convenient because you can just get in and find a space to get comfortable. But other than that, there's a long hallway that leads you to your designated seat, you know, then you can pick. There's honestly so much space to pick from wherever you want to sit. Once you get in, that's literally the only thing that you have to worry about. Or if there's so many people and you have to stand, then the standing space is also very, very convenient for a very tall person. And if you're standing, remember to hold onto the little holder so that you're riding safe and you don't happen to fall once the track stops. Let me know down in the comment section if the inside of this train looks the same as the trains in your country or in your state, or if they're different, let me know down in the comment section. Okay guys, so before... I have two minutes. I have two minutes to summarize my experience for you guys. So first of all guys, thank you so much for coming out to the end of the video. Let's talk about today's adventure and today's ride. First of all, as I said, I've already taken tracks before multiple times to get to multiple places, but I'm not gonna be using those other experiences to talk about today. I'm gonna be using only today's experience. Let's start with the fact that it was a Sunday and the waiting times were super long but if you already know that it's a weekend then that shouldn't bother you at all because on other days it's usually different having the wait time boards right there telling us how long it's gonna take was kind of convenient because honestly it was late by just a few minutes which was okay um let's talk about the inside the inside of the train was super clean which is not the same with some other tracks but today fortunately we got a track that was super clean um, I got to sit in my own space because it's a Sunday again. There isn't a lot of people, which means there was a lot of space empty. So I got to sit in my own place. Y'all got to sit with me in our own place, which was super nice. You guys can let me know what you think down in the comment section, especially for people who have never had the chance to ride tracks before. Let me know what you guys thought about it. Other than that, I honestly believe that tracks are super convenient. And yeah, don't forget to subscribe. Thanks for coming with me to this journey.